Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we wanted to give you guys an update on the progress that we made, uh, specifically the van floor and what we ended up doing there. It's kind of a unique situation that we chose. I don't think that we've seen anybody else do something like this before. We reached out to a lot of the people in the community about insulation and, and what, what are the best places to insulate the van. The feedback with, from the community was that the wheel wells need insulation and the floor needs insulation. So based on our research, we basically found that there were four different ways to insulate the van floor. The first two ways involve strapping the floor. One of the ways is to do strapping in the rivets of the van and put foam board pieces in between that and that's how you get your insulation. Um, and another way to do it is to do the same thing um, but use spray foam instead of foam board. There's two other ways to insulate the van in which you can not raise the floor. One being obviously don't use insulation. Put the subfloor right to the chassis and then put your flooring on top of that. Or you can use some type of membrane or other insulation type that's malleable and put that in between your subfloor and your chassis and they just kind of squeeze it together. A lot of people when they're trying to pick an insulation to go in between the subfloor and the van, they try to get something like foam board or something that they can piece up and just stick in the rivets of the van and then lay the subfloor on top. Uh, in that case, you're only getting the insulation in those rivets. Um, you have a lot of thermal bridge on the bottom and it becomes a lot of work that you put in for almost no return value. A lot of the issues we were facing was most importantly Dylan's height because he's 6'1". So he has about like three inches of clearance between the very very top of the van. We wanted to have some kind of insulation because that's what everyone tells us. We've talked to so many people and they've told us that you have to insulate your floors because they didn't or they didn't do it as well and so they were having like a lot of issues. And so after more research and talking uh, with Dylan's dad who is a professional remodeler, he basically told us that in houses you know, your floor is cold. Houses are not very well insulated on the floor. You know, whether you have pier and beam, whether you have concrete um, slab, regardless, you're not gonna get good insulation on the floor. We do need insulation because it is a metal box and the only thing between us and the chassis is the subfloor, but there, there's only so much you could do to insulate the floor, especially in the van without losing height. So we started out thinking that we would, you know, go with the strapping technique. Um, we would basically do strapping in the larger rivets uh, and then we would do horizontal strapping in between the larger rivets and then put foam board in between those pieces. We ended up buying the strapping and things that we needed and we started to lay it down and realized that in order to get the perfect level floor that we really wanted, we need to either plane or table saw down strips of wood uh, to match the specific size. Considering all those things, we decided to go with cutting individual strips of some sort of material and putting it in between those channels and then adding layers on top of that. So what we decided to do was use a carpet underlayment. With the carpet underlayment, it has an R value of two. So in some areas of our floor, we have a total of six and then four. There's three deep channels that run horizontally on the van. And what we did for those, we cut about two inch strips and then placed it down. And then on top of that, we cut four inch strips place it on top of that and then for all the other little tiny channels they kind of run between an inch to just kind of customize cuts and with that you'll just have to get a tape measure and measure 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 cut cut put it back and then the first thing we had to do was get the carpet underlayment lay it across the whole van because we wanted to have the strips and then we wanted to have one solid layer of underlayment underneath our subfloor so we had to measure that out first and then we cut our strips and so when we finally laid oh. everything back on top so we have our strips and then we have our one continuous piece of the carpet underlayment then we added our subfloor back down, which we used the floor that came with our van, the factory floor. We put our subfloor back down and then we had to screw it back down. So we just used some of the factory bolt things. You'll see the clip here, but we used those to actually secure it down. So we used the, oh, there's a the hair. Uh, we used these screws to screw the subfloor to the chassis. And we kind of just eyeballed and hoped that we were straight, but we actually weren't going back to it. So the way we were supposed to screw the floor back down was in an alternating pattern. So every other channel would be opposite of each other. So there would be one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. I don't know who that was. <laughs> 
we didn't really do that. We kind of just screwed where a little bump was, screwed it down, and we kind of hoped for the best. When we went to screw the floor down, we would find that like the subfloor wouldn't screw to the chest and it would be all wavy because of this. So we ended up taking off the entire floor. Yeah, we so we took our sub floor off, we took our underlayment off, and then we took those little strips off and... And we checked the chassis floor to yeah. make sure that it was even that, you know, and then we checked the wood and the wood was warped. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that guys, our camera uh, overheated, so we had to switch positions there. So when we put our floor back down, did it the right way and we laid about like three or five lines down. And so we were able to know if we were straight and then we actually screwed our floor down the right way. So I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. You can cover everything? Yeah. And then the next video, we're gonna talk about electrical yeah and, and the fun time we had with that yeah so uh there'll probably be about three parts to the electrical and we hope you like this video maybe now it's less confusing on what kind of floor you should put for your van if you're under what my height you think yeah so if you're under five seven well five six and you know a half but if you're under my height i would definitely suggest maybe doing the strapping with the foam board. If you're above that, probably do something that we did or don't insulate your van at all and just have to get carpet. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you like what we're doing so far, uh, subscribe to our channel. You will regret it. Yeah, or else. Subscribe or else. <laughs> yeah, this, this has never been done before. True. I would like to think that it hasn't. I don't think it has. I haven't seen any videos on it. Guys. Our kitty has joined van life. This little kitty cat is joining the club. <laughs>